What is up you guys? It's your girl Nicole Faye and welcome back to another Juicy Fat video. Don't mind my hair, okay? It's another really bad hair day, all right? But I don't look like Martha Stewart today, okay? <laughs> no, I like my hair, it's just like really dry. I've been trying my best to like wear my like natural, what? That's not even what this video is about. I'm sorry, I'm just rambling. Anyway, as you guys can see by the title, today we are shopping at Walgreens for some drugstore makeup and beauty products. Does anybody still shop at Walgreens? Like, when I was thinking about doing this video, I was like, okay, I guess I'll go back to Target or like Walmart to like do like a drugstore makeup beauty shopping routine. And I was like, wait, I should try Walgreens because no one shops at Walgreens anymore. Do you guys shop at Walgreens? I haven't been at Walgreens in so long. So that's why I'm like, okay, I really want to go in here and see what they have. I know they basically we have the same thing as Target and Walmart, but we are Walgreens, so they might have something different. You never know, okay? <laughs> Let's go ahead and head in there and see the beauty items and the makeup products that they have so you can look good and glow up the summer. Bro, this is the nicest Walgreens I've been to in my entire life, okay? This Walgreens is so clean and beautiful, I feel like I can lick off the floor, all right? How's my hair? Crazy. Okay, it's okay. Let's go. The first area we're at are lashes, okay? If you cannot afford to keep getting your lashes done by lash professionals and pay like 150 every two or three weeks, then girl, get you some lash clusters, okay? Do not listen to people on social media when they say lash clusters look cheap, okay? They are cute. I've actually never tried Kiss. I've always tried our nail. Oh, these are actually pre-glued. So these are actually really good that you don't have to glue them and have like a bunch of glue stuck to your eye and face. You know what I'm saying? But I really love cluster lashes they're really natural and very pretty and also affordable so definitely check these out if you're looking for a good like glow lotion just to put on your skin or under your foundation if you want to look glowy get you the l'oreal paris bloomy glue drop glow drops i was about to say glue drops glow drops oh my gosh this is the best drugstore illuminator highlighter like really nice like sometimes i'll just just put this on even if i don't have on any foundation and it gives me the best glow honey okay and it's affordable only 21 dollars all right can't beat that all right because the other glow drops at sephora be like 50 dollars Highly recommend for you to check this one out if you're looking for something to really glow and enhance your skin. I have been hearing so many great reviews of the new L'Oreal True Match Concealer, okay? I already love their True Match foundation and the concealer is just another top dog, okay? I'm helping my best friend how to like learn how to do her makeup and she just bought the True Match Concealer and she has like really like dark sunken eyes. I'm sorry, best friend, to be telling your business. I'm really, really sorry. You know I love you, okay? But this really did help you, okay? So if you have like really dark, like baggy under eyes are dark sunken eyes like this covers so well like I was like oh my gosh girl like this concealer is good am I the only person that did not really care for the Maybelline New York concealer I love Maybelline New York, but I did not care for these type of concealers. Like these were really trendy. I think people still wear these as well, but I didn't like this. I felt like it dried and creased under my eyes a lot, so no. But I do like their foundation, okay? Don't sleep on their foundation. Their foundation is good. Another thing that's really good is their pressed powders as well. Putting pressed powder under your eye to stop like the creasing from your concealer and stuff is the best way to do it, okay? If you're looking for a really good drugstore pressed powder, please get the Maybelline New York Fit Me, okay? Absolutely excellent. Speaking of another Maybelline product, oh my gosh, this is my favorite drugstore mascara, the Maybelline New York Falsy, the purple bottle one. If you don't have any lashes, you will when you put this on, okay? This is good, all right? And it's only $12.99. Best um, mascara. I would buy it, but I have so many mascaras that I don't have any room in my makeup drawer, so I have to put it back. But highly, highly recommend this. Another product that I didn't really care for is the Maybelline Fit Me Setting Powder. It kind of gave flashback, okay? I used to like it, but I've noticed over time that throughout the day it does crease under my eyes and then it does give me just a tiny bit of flashback. So if you guys know any like good drugstore setting powders, definitely let your girl know because I'm still gonna keep using my Huda because I haven't been able to find a good drugstore setting powder. Okay, so a good drugstore setting spray, I was about to say setting powder, setting spray that I highly recommend is the Milani Make It Last last one oh my gosh like this is a really good one i've actually never seen one this big jesus but that's a really good one it really does make your makeup last all day and then if you're really oily you can get the matte one but if you want like if you're really dry you can get the dewy one so i highly recommend for you to check out milani setting spray like i used to use them all the time revlon also has a really good concealer this is the revlon color stay skin awakening love this one as well if you also have like deep bags or just deep sunken eyes this is a really good coverage in and hydrating one too. Oh, I have to buy this right now, okay? I cannot stand really chunky, 
chuggy eyebrow pencils because I feel like they make your eyebrows look so thick and chalky. I love nano, like, what the f I'm definitely gonna get this. This is in my color too. Wait, is this my color? Oh, where's my color? I need a dark brown. Dark brown, here we go. This is the one. <gasps> cover girl is stepping it up, okay? Favorite drugstore lip gloss. Argue with your mother, okay? Top notch. I love the yummy lip glosses by CoverGirl. Like, you want the juiciest, most softest, most beautiful, most glowiest lips ever? Get this, okay? Please, get this, all right? Thank me later. I always tell people to buy their brushes from the drugstore. If you are one of those type of people that are buying your brushes at like Sephora, girl, you're rich, okay? Because $19.99 for this full set, okay? And you get a blush brush, a contour brush, a concealer brush, a powder brush, okay? Think smart, not hard, okay? Get your brushes from the drugstore, okay? Because the four brushes are diabolical, okay? Diabolical. <gasps> Wait, no. Look at these little mini concealer brushes. <gasps> I'm getting these right now. I'm getting these right now. I wasn't even supposed to come in here and spend any money, you guys. And look, I'm spending money. <laughs> Okay, before I leave, you know what I need to do. Smell some body washes, okay? I cannot leave any store without smelling any body washes. How are you guys up there? You guys good? Okay, don't fall, all right? If you fall, I have no money to help you in your hospital bill. Okay, all right. Ooh. Dove has a new, like, body wash line going on. This is the Hydro, Proof, Hydro Boost Dove Hyaluronic Serum. Ooh. <laughs> Let's smell and see how it looks. smells so good and I need some new body wash too. Dove also has a new coconut milk sugar lychee plant-based cleansing bar. Mm, this is fancy. Let me see how it smells. It's... This smells so good. Oh my gosh. I am getting this right now and it's only $6.99. When did CeraVe come out with body washes? I can't even smell them either because it has a wrapping on them. Oh my gosh, this one is a smoothing body wash and this one is a body wash for rough and bumpy skin. I love the moisturizer and they have a body wash version. Like, should I get this or the cleansing bar? Let's get both. Let me stop y'all before I go to jail. Y'all see that camera? Mm -hmm. They saw me take it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm definitely getting this. Like, this smells amazing. But I want to smell one more body wash before we go. Let's smell one from Dial. I used to use Dial when I was, like, a teenager back in high school. Like, don't sleep on Dial, okay? They be having some good body washes that smell amazing. Ooh, this one smells really good. Oh, my gosh, it just brings back high school memories of me getting up at 6 in the morning to catch the 715 bus and being sleepy as hell going to school. Relive those memories, let's put that shit back. I also need some lotion before we go as well. And I have a lot of like body oils and um, body bombs, but now that it's getting a little warmer in Chicago, that's a little too thick, okay? So let's look for some good lotion. I heard a lot of good reviews of the Vaseline Radiant one. This is a nourishing, even tone with coconut oil, vitamin C, and peptides, but is it heavy, okay? Is it for summer? Because I don't want anything too thick. That's the only thing. I'm not gonna get this one because I already have this one at home, but for all my lazy girls who hate putting on lotion after they get out the shower, isn't that too much work? Like, I just be so lazy sometimes when I get the shower, I don't feel like doing all of that, okay? But if you don't, get you some lotion spray, okay? This is the best invention ever. They need to do this to all the lotion bottles, okay? Put it in the spray for the lazy bitches like me who don't wanna put on lotion to get out the shower, okay? Thank you. I don't know why, but for some reason, I don't see like any ultra light like body lotions or anything like that. So I'm just gonna get this one because like I said, I've been seeing a lot of good reviews and we're just gonna trust that this isn't heavy in 80 degree weather, okay? Because I be dying with the gas lotion on me and it's hot as fuck outside. We just gonna go with this one. Whew! I spent 60 whole Barack Obama dollars in Walgreens, okay? <laughs> But I got everything that I showed you guys in the store that I was gonna get, but I did pick up some more body wash. I got an acne foaming wash to clean up like the back acne on my chest and back. I wanna like clean it up for this summer because I have like a lot of like acne scars and just like acne marks on my back and chest. So hopefully that works and I will keep you guys posted. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope I gave you guys some pointers and some good products to use for this summer so you can glow up and look good, honey. Let me know.
know in the comments if you guys highly recommend any more drugstore products from like Walmart, Target, or Walgreens. And let me know if you agree with the video and some of the products that I showed you guys, if you guys like them or not. So I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you beauties next time.